Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction IT Social and Professional Issues Series. Right now, we are on our lecture number 7. Let's proceed to our topic for today. So the topics are ICT enabled industry and we have subtopics business process outsourcing BPO types and categories and BPO types of services. Now in figure 39 shows the image outsourcing traditional to digital. So as you notice here it is more on uh, a paper base and this is what you call a computer base or a digital base transactions and it is considered to be an outsourcing from traditional going to digital. Now let's proceed and identify what is outsourcing. What is business process outsourcing? Business process outsourcing, BPO, is the practice of contracting a specific work process or processes to an external service provider. The service can include payroll, accounting, telemarketing, data recording, social media marketing, customer support, and more. Now, let's move on to BPO types and categories. The BPO is often divided into two main types of services since we are talking about the services. First is the back office and second is the front office. The back office services include internal business processes such as billing or purchasing and the front office services pertain to the contracting company's customers such as marketing and tech support. BPOs can combine these services, the back and front office, so that they work together not independently. Now let's move on to the BPO industry which is divided into three categories. The first one is the offshore which is vendors are located outside of the company's own country. For example, US, a company may use an offshore BPO vendor in the Philippines. The second one is the nearshore. Vendors are located in the countries that neighbor the contracting company's country. For example, in the United States, a BPO in Mexico is considered a nearshore vendor since Mexico is included also in the US. Now, the third one is the onshore, which is vendor operate within the same country as the contractor, although they may be located in a different city or state. For example, a company in Seattle, Washington, could use an onshore outsourcing vendor located in Seattle, Washington also, or in Huntsville, Alabama. Now, why do business outsource processes? Now, businesses cite many other reasons to engage in outsourcing. We have below to decrease costs, to concentrate on key functions, to achieve better results in non-core functions, to expand their global presence, to enable flexibility, and to improve speed and efficiency. Now, we're finished with the BPO types and categories. Let's move on to the BPO types of services. What type of services do outsourcing companies support? So the first one is information technology enabled services, which is ITES or ITES. It is the same as BPO. Actually, it is the BPO itself. The second one is knowledge process outsourcing, KPO. The third one is legal process outsourcing, LPO. The fourth one is research process outsourcing, RPO. And the fifth is the travel. Each BPO company will specialize in specific services. They may be grouped as follows. Customer interaction services, back office transactions, IT and software operations, finance and accounting services, human resource services, and knowledge services. Now, what are the risks of business process outsourcing? We are risking ourselves in terms of security through information and through mankind. The second is underestimating the cost of services. The third is over-dependence on service providers. And the last, communication issues. 
Other possible risks associated with outsourcing includes data breaches, quality control, operation restoration, non-local employees, maintenance of strategic alignment, political instability, changes in technology and exposure to hacking, specialization to the point that the niche demand is no longer necessary. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 7.